Hello gamers, what's up? Another YouTube video. This time it's on your all-time favorite thing, the Waffentrager E1 High Noon. Now, I'm gonna be rocking all this thing because everybody wants to see it for some reason. It's back, only for a limited time, of course, in the event with rental bottles, which you need to gamble for, which is a pretty scummy business tactic, if you ask me. But however, I'm just gonna be focusing on the gameplay here. And I will answer your question immediately. Do we need the Waffentrager back into the game? The Muffin Dragger is not as strong as it once used to be in any way, shape, or form. Because it used to be ridiculously overpowered in a game that was different back then. There was not as many hold on tanks, tanks that could actually withstand this tank. However, as long as it's not overpowered anymore, it should be fine, right, Daki? No, because it's still broken. The fact that it can clip a tank in one go, uh, well, not every tank, but a lot of tanks in, in one go, makes it incredibly imbalanced still um, because of the fact that it can do that it can remove a tank from the game immediately it can also snipe it has a really good gun on range still even though the pen drop off is uh, significant the fact that it can however still kill a tank in one clip is something that shouldn't exist in my opinion in the game um, it's not something good it's not something necessary it's not something that I like or feel like we need whatsoever um, so, no. For me, it's on the same line as a shit baron and cobra clip, all, all things that IMO shouldn't exist, um, however. But when playing this tank, if you're playing it, you gotta play it extremely passively. There is probably a light tank here, I would say, by the fact that the bat got spotted so early. I think he's in those bushes there. We're just gonna be waiting here and seeing if we can find anything at all because it's not likely right now that we are gonna get a clip on anything we would, they would need to be spotted driving down one two for us to get a clip they could take e1 if they wanted to um that is a potential for the enemy team i'm just uh, waiting here to see if maybe somebody overpeaks the middle um something happens 60p peaking, but not nearly enough though, not nearly enough, and the 183 just one shot at the TVP. I guess he went back behind that bush and got punished for it. We could go back towards the middle if we wanted to, but the enemy team is a bit scary to play against. Also the IDs are of course scary to play against because ID pens this tank basically every single shot if it hits the uh, superstructure. So I, I don't really feel like driving to the middle. and. Yeah, in the VT, you're completely like dependent and reliant on the on the team. Um, will be. Uh, I lost my train of thought. We have to wait. Is the conclusion? We have to wait, and then hope that something comes out of this. I'm not sure what our TVP is trying to achieve here. I'm just hoping they push up one two because it's about the only thing that is gonna do anything for me here. Um, everything outside of that has about zero potential. My TVP is pushing up, though again, 60p is but I cannot do anything with 60p. I don't want to waste my shell on him because I'll have to reload after again. But the TVP took some distance, took some ground, um, pushed up a bit. But again, nothing to shoot at, nothing to do. Nothing to shoot at, nothing to do. Just gotta play it slow and steady. We have to wait. And then hope that our TVP spots something. Somehow. Which is unlikely I am on, but I'm still trying to get closer as our TVP creeps up. Our Pajoda is yellowing in though. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be spotted for this. Maybe not though. Maybe the projector is just not spotted for that. They have a shit burn or something blind firing. Gotta be careful not to get spotted by that guy. Uh, 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 uh. We have taken 9 0 line for free. Well, for free, not as a weapon trigger in E50 there. Maybe not so for free. And we're still playing the long game here, waiting for something to happen, waiting for something to get spotted, waiting for literally anything. And this is the kind of games that I had on stream as well, where you're just like, 
Nothing's happening. And it's awful because you're just waiting to get a spot on a thing that you might be able to shoot. And even now, I can't shoot that. I am tired of sitting in 1-2 line. I can't do it anymore. I'm leaving. This tank does not really uh, hit the sweet spot for me in terms of gameplay. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, now the Ag Panzer gets spotted though. It was going to explode in about three and a half seconds when it comes down to it. There was a Pedretto actually in those bushes, like I said there was. So I was correct about that one. The only issue with peeking here is that there is a shit burn more than one even. One, two, three, four. Let's reload immediately. See, this is the potential of the Waffentrager, and it's the potential that I don't like. And it's the potential that we don't need, even, in my opinion, in the game. We don't need a thing that can do that. Like, it, it doesn't add anything to the gameplay, per se. And yeah, I agree, like, tanks like Chiefs and etc. are also equally dumb. But that doesn't mean that we need to be adding more dumb things. We already got the dumb Mino armor, in my opinion. Um, so, no, I am against re-adding this. However, 17 seconds. It's waiting now to get a spot. I mean, he gets spotted, but we're still reloading, so we're not going to get anything on him. I would ex imagine he dies long before we get to do a single shot of damage to him. I'd like to clip out the 60p, however. Shit burn in 1A3, man. Shit burn in 1A3 completely prevent me from doing anything along those... Uh, doing anything along those lines and the 121B picks up the 268 before that's not good now it's the only praying that somebody is gonna go spot something I mean the before gets spotted he's low HP actually not sure what happened to him that's not good that's really not good but the bachelor already misses us the 261 does not I need my med pack here. Ten more seconds of stun left. I want to keep my three shells because the Mino is pushing up. And I feel like he might be spotting the shit burn. I mean, he might. With some luck. Balance has been achieved, boys. Balance has been achieved, right there. I have one more shot, I have one blind. If I hit my last shot, I'm hovering around 4k. I don't think this tank has 5k potential. Um, it's too... Um, too reliant on... Um, DMM and the games being long enough while having opportunities to actually shoot things. Which it doesn't really get at anymore. So, in that regard, Four to between four and five, like high 4.8, I think is maybe the max possible. Maybe somebody would do 5k, a uh, more patient gamer than me that's in better positions because I am not very good at playing this time personally. Um, it is very hard to play properly, and the issue comes for like it only takes one guy to sit in the back with his five shells to be extremely annoying. And not one beast, still on one two line. I don't think we get a reload off here either. I mean, we still have 12 seconds. The bachelor is in A1. I thought the 121B might have made have crossed over A line to try and, um, you know, to try and go towards the nice line, but he didn't. And we do 3.3. We have one blind on the Gwilado, I think. So it's like 3.5, 3.8. I'm not sure. Not necessarily a terrible game, but not a great one either. Because we are all, all we can do is just wait, 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 and wait. Especially with their lineup, they have multiple shit bounds, double ID, actually 4K. Um, it is a hard lineup for me to play against, um, and I am playing this on. Uh, uh, I am playing this at uh, EU3 because this is my transfer account that I transferred from CIS to um, CIS to EU. So I am playing on EU3, 
uh, uh, uh. Okay, so we get a defense on 6 feet line, 2 IDs, 3 lights, 5 TDs, 3 mediums and 2 heavies. What do I need to be careful for? Shipping. The IDs. The sheriff doesn't want to be a tree gun. Many things to be careful for. I will play towards the city in the beginning to maybe surprise the heavy and get some free damage from him. Um, if it's possible. We will, however, see though. We will, however, see if that is a possibility. Um, we'll go towards this part of the map here and play from there. Equipment that I'm using is HP Turbo and improved aiming. I think most streamers are using the same thing. Melan was using this as well. I think Dracofy and others were uh, as well using this uh, setup to their uh, to their advantage. Um, so let's see. Forty seconds left. We can snipe towards the Kalen, for example, or we can maybe like find an E100 and pretty much rock him out. I'm thinking outside the box here. I don't think I can play like C9. I think that's terrible. Um, I think we have to play towards the city to begin with, and 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 maybe find, you know, play behind here. Um, yeah, well, it's a T100. I can't shoot him because I'm still reloading. So I have 16 seconds left. And and shoot towards where the T100 is. Like shoot towards that here. The Sherry did nice for them. That was an interesting play by the Sherry. Uh, 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 uh. I am spotted, however, which is really bad, by the way. However, the projector does not see me right now. Which is okay because my gun doesn't see him either. You see, this is what I mean, boys. This is what I mean. We do not need this potential. Like, I think you understand where I'm coming from. The ability to clip a tank in one go, it shouldn't exist anymore. It really just shouldn't. It gives me more like, more like a War Thunder vibe than a Roll of Tanks vibe. I mean, maybe that's just my opinion and everybody wants the Waffen Trigger back, which I will accept if that is the case. Um, if that were the case, I will accept that. Got spotted by the Centurion because he's in proxy range. Maybe I can hide fully in this building now. It's good that I didn't pull around the corner. Maybe it's not good that I didn't pull around the corner. I need a spot on the E4. He has an angle on me still, I think. Yeah, he still has an angle on me. He missed me with a tree. I have two more shots for the gorilla here. A bit too slow on this peeking around the corner by me. Their bottom dragon may do something stupid, potentially. I have a choice here better to reload or keep these two shells. Um, however, I think I'm just gonna go push the center in with them. Get my almost secure 4k and then just hope for another reload off of that. I think that is the best possible play at this moment in time. So however, unlikely. We get another reload of though. We're gonna reload here. It's a shame he decided to peek around the corner. Um, the 277 has a lot of HP though still, but I need 40 seconds here to come back into the game. Uh, 37 seconds now. 35. I doubt the possibility to get another clip off in this regard. We'll see though, we'll try. The 277 gets set on fire. That of course does not help our situation either. Because he's about the only person that has any HP left outside of the Waffen Trigger. Who's also going to die? Because he peeked out. And there is nothing left outside of the EBR who has never been spotted. So he might as well be AFK. And you can see it is hard to get big damage games in this. Especially also with the speed of battles that you have uh, nowadays. So I could have gotten a shot on the E4, it's a mistake by me not to go for that, I thought he would have died, he did not. Where is the enemy EBR is a good question. It is a good question where the EBR would be. He has to be like, I don't know, somewhere in the field. I don't think he had an opportunity to sneak through, oh my god he actually did sneak through, Jesus. That's interesting. 
I did not expect that actually. That he was able to sneak through there. Uh, he whoever did. I might be fast enough to get a, a shot or two. Maybe with some luck. Maybe with some luck. I still have to drive on the hill though. He's gonna dodge through zero line in the meantime, I think. Go for the GW and keep driving. He rammed himself into the GW. Okay. Alright. That's that's something, I guess. That is something. And he's not gonna pick enough for me to shoot him. So yeah, it is hard for me to get good damage games in this. I don't know. This one was too fast. Again, not enough opportunity. 3.4. I don't say I wouldn't say that I misplayed anything per se outside of maybe not picking the gorilla fast enough, um, which is you know unfortunate. But at the end of the day, we take what we can get. On uh, Roslekat, I got like 4.4k DPG when playing this, so you know um, it is what it is. It is what it is. We're trying our best. If it doesn't work out, it it it, it doesn't work out. I can't. Uh, I can't make uh, things happen where they're not able to happen. Um, this was more like talking about the VT and if it was this potential return to the game. Because a lot of people ask, do you think they're testing this for a potential return to the game? And I think at the end of the day, all our gaming really is doing is just making it so people spend more money on the boxes to get rental bottles for the Buffen Trigger. It's FOMO. Um, could I see them add this in an auction at some point? Of course I can. I for sure can see them add uh, this uh... I'm thinking so looking at their lineup steps not really a good map for me though I don't know if I'm fast enough to cross stage one let's see where the team goes there's a lot of people to respond to. Maybe I can go to SH1 with some miracle. I don't think so though. I don't think I'm nearly fast enough for that. But I don't really know what else to do. I can't really go to the G0 either, but thanks. It's way too bait for that and I need to overpick way too much to make it work. So... We'll go H1. We'll try. 140 on the other side. Maybe I didn't really spot anybody crossing, which is interesting as well. Uh, my VZ is not seeing anybody. My Kran crosses over for free. Okay, maybe for free is a really big route here. Really big. I feel like I won the trade there. I took one from the crown and I gave three, uh, two to the TVP. Now I want to be able to use my last two shells on something that I can hit. However, there is no such thing at this moment in time. I've kind of locked myself in this position now and I don't know how happy I am with that. Okay, then either VZ to drive above them, but that's not gonna happen. There's no chance that will ever happen. That's okay, I love AD players. Especially when they hit me for 372 from hitting near me. It's uh, the best. Can I do against this crown? Yeah, I'm reloading. We're just wasting shots. We can't really do anything. If my peoples, if my peoples would actually just pressure the two line here and go above the crown, we would win this super easily. Like it would be a super easy win, but we won't do that to be. I won't be able to counter the crown either. Um, in that regard. Or a bad angle on the 60TP would work also. It's a bit too late for the EFI, I think. 
And the 4 is still playing on the corner as well. I mean, a 60p is making a bad peak though. Like a really bad peak. <laughs> oh, it's too funny, man. It's honestly too funny when this kind of thing happens. I could have also clipped that guy. And now I'm not able to. That's kind of depressing. I have to pull back around the corner because I'm spotted. I am such a non-fan of this kind of gameplay. It's not even funny how much I dislike playing the game like this. Like I despise playing the game like this, my boys. The Leo would have gone the respot there, it would have been awesome, but you know. It doesn't work out. That was pretty dope though. That was pretty dope. Okay. That was pretty dank. That was pretty dank. I'll give myself a pat on the back for that one. Because that was pretty good. It probably will also be the highlight of this battle and the only thing I do all game. Um, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna add another clip here or anything. I'd love to find the 183. <laughs> Not myself though, but somebody spots him and I clip about for me. Would be the ideal scenario. I can use my VC as an information gatherer. Come on, buddy. Okay, so that works out. Probably a mistake to keep driving here, but... He spotted me. It's kind of bad. I love it. Dude, I love ID players. They are the greatest humans on this planet, by the way. There is nothing greater than an ID player. They are the best. I love them. Where is the T92? Where is the GW? Come on, VZ. Come on, VZ. You're foolish, everybody. So one of them is there already. Wolfen Trigger gameplay in a nutshell, dude. Do nothing, clip somebody fully. Right there, dude. Right there. It's like roughly 4k average, like 3.8k average over the three games uh, that we played. So it's just Wolfen Trigger gameplay in a nutshell. And that is the toxic part about it. As much as 1A3 can remove a tank from the game, which I think is toxic, the Wolfen Trigger can do the same thing. And I really do not like that aspect of it. I'm not a fan of it in the game whatsoever um so you know anyways i hope you enjoyed this disgusting waffle gameplay um uh, waffle arrow i hope you uh i hope you uh, enjoyed that aspect of it um i'm looking forward to seeing you guys all on stream by the time you see this you might have either seen this in the beginning uh i'll be gone from thursday or i'll be i'll have been gone from thursday until wednesday I'm back on Wednesday, so I hope to see you all on stream then, because I'll probably have missed you by then. So three games on the Waffen, 3.9, not the greatest of results, but you can see how difficult the gameplay is, but you could see the toxic aspects of being able to one-clip tanks. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment down below what you would like to see next. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you guys all on the very next one. Anyways, peace boys. Ciao, ciao.